<laughs> Welcome. Welcome to OG Comics. I'm the OG coming to you from Panama City Beach, Florida, living the three-stripe life. Guys, gals, friends, foes, and hoes, we're going to dive right into our show today. We're going to do pulls from 517. We're going to review not one, but two toys today. We're going to start with the toys. We're going to knock them out. Uh, this is a statue of Electro. As you know, I'm fond of these statues of certain villains of the Amazing Spider-Man from the John Romita slash Steve Ditko uh, era. I love that statue. I saw it and I had to have it. My LCS kind of holds them on the side for me and gives me the option if I want to buy or not. Here we have another one, a little uh, statuesque of... Uh, the creature from the green slime. As you know, the green slime was one of the first uh, sci-fi movies that I ever went to as a child. Yeah, as a child, I went to see this. Uh, the movie came out, I believe, in nineteen between nineteen sixty-seven and nineteen sixty-nine. Man, it has got a true late sixties vibe to it. All space race and stuff like that. It was it was a real cool time. And trust me, the OG was very young then. I mean, I would have to say well we don't want to comment on that anyway let's get into the polls right off the bat we have a number one issue dc comics green lantern and this is how jordan i've always had a fondness for uh green lantern and how jordan taking nothing away from jonathan stewart guy gardner uh the new uh oh god what's his name i can't remember the new the hispanic green lantern Love him too. Um, there's a lot of Kilowog. There's a lot of Green Lanterns. I've, I've always been into Green Lantern. I don't know if this is enough to pull me in for me to buy issue number two and carry on with it. But I did like it. Hopefully you Green Lantern fans out there will pick up on this. The OG has given his seal of approval. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy number two. Gorgeous cover of Gamora. I enjoyed it. Don't know if I'm going to continue with it. This is a variant issue. Miguel Mercado, if you can see that, uh, all the beauty of, uh, I just said her name, uh, Gamora. <laughs> um, X-Men 22. This is a Nick Bradshaw variant. Anything, I told you guys, you guys know I love me some Nimrod. I'm down with Nimrod. This is all the faces of Orcus coming after the X-Men. Uh, Modoc is in the services of Orcus. Gonna get into the issue a little bit right now. Nimrod, Modoc. What we have here is um, Modoc has come up with something that he has tampered with the the Krakoan drugs, where they're making people just drop off buildings, uh, do some crazy things. Of course, this is gonna fall back on Krakoa, and uh, humankind is gonna hate them even more. Also. Finally, somebody brought up, and it's Forge, one of the X-Men that I can't stand, that there's a Sentinel here, a new Sentinel, and I gotta say, he's kind of rough looking, not a fan of, not a fan of that look at all. Um, it is a, it is a Sentinel that Orcus has found, well, what they found is a skeleton, an adamantium skeleton of Wolverine. They found ways to bring it to life uh, through robotics or whatnot and make a sentinel out of it. And you guys know how difficult adamantium is to deal with. And at the end of the comic book, Forge finally asks um, Cyclops, do we have any idea how many times Wolverine has died and they have not retrieved his skeleton? I've said for a while since Legacy, Legacy House uh, auctions that auctions all kinds of uh, superhero stuff in the comic books they had a claw of wolverine an adamantium fist and claw of wolverine wolverine had no memory of it at some point in his life he was killed with through mutant resurrections brought back which i am not a fan of how many skeletons are out there of logan Slash Wolverine. We don't know. God, he's died multiple times. There are scenarios where, these are true scenarios where the X-Men have tried to take on Orcus. And they have lost multiple times to Nimrod. 
only to be brought back through the mutant resurrections. Very interesting. Um, X-Force continues to be a fantastic read. I love it. I like Omega Red um, in the X-Men, or <laughs> X-Force. Uh, Kid Omega is back. Kid Omega's been aged up. And he's talking about a, a beast that is in multiple future timelines that is just wrecking havoc. He calls him Beast Priest. Um, in the end, we see a Nimrod that is blue that we believe is the beast. Pretty trippy. I can't wait for issue 41. That's going to be very interesting. We have a new Avengers title. This is a, a variant. They call it a box, a corner box variant. You know, this is the... Do I have one even anymore? Way back in the day, they used to put artwork in here with the price. You would see maybe the Fantastic Four, uh, 12 cents, issue number, uh, date, November, 12 cents. It's always real cool. This is what this is. And a couple different titles from Marvel Comics has come up with them. And this is Mark Brooks. This is uh, a variant of issue number one, Avengers. This is Derek Chu. Of course, you know I love me some Scarlet Witch. Gorgeous cover. Amazing Spider-Man has been fantastic, in my humble opinion. Many don't like it out there. This is, uh, they talk about MJ and Paul, who she's with. Explains the kids. I'm not going to spoil it for you. Explains the kids. They're not hers. Ha <laughs> ha! Sorry, I can't help it. Uh, Peter is also almost back with Felicia. So what what we think is going to happen is MG, <laughs> MG, uh, MJ and Peter are going to go Splitsville. And I'm fine with that. Predator has been fantastic. This is Predator number three. I believe this is a five-issue limited series. And uh, Theta, our hero in this, heroine in this uh, comic book, has had her arm severed off by the Predator. Um, it's, just, it's just fantastic. I, 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 I enjoyed this a lot. Better than the movies lately. Fantastic Four... The Immortal Alex Ross cover. Here we have, they're finally going to run into Doctor Doom. This is a fantastic issue. I don't want to give too much away. Uh, it really shows the arrogance of Doctor Doom. He comes in here just thinking he's going to solve this problem where uh, the Baxter building is. The Richards kids, uh, Valeria and uh, Franklin, uh, the, the things... And Alicia Masters children, adopted children, one Cree, one Skrull, they're all gone. Everybody that resides in that block area was taken to a, a, a space and time, and they will return in one year. But my understanding is that it's been more than one year. Time is different here. So Dr. Doom, of course, he is the godfather of Valeria Richards, and he blames Reed Richards, and he's going to solve this. Well, he has a time machine. Dr. Doom has always had a time machine. Um, in in um, Dr. Strange, um, uh, what is it? Something of madness. Reed Richards, played by John Krasinski. That's the time machine, the platform that comes down that he appears out of. That is Dr. Doom's time machine. Kang in Ant-Man, Quantumania, um, in the very end, the the second to last trailer you see them all popping up those are dr doom's time machines now dr doom is also a time traveler he's very careful with time when the fantastic four took the time machine from him they they they're all very careful about the manipulations of time kang himself is supposed to be a well in the comic books uh, possibly the father of Reed Richards, Nathaniel Richards. But we don't know how that's going to go. I lean more towards comic books. I like that. <coughs> As you know, Nathaniel Richards was a Caucasian man. Now, I'm not against having... Um, I thought Jonathan Majors was fantastic. As, as Kang. You know, he has got some law problems right now. We're going to see how that goes. I've heard of the MCU replacing Kang with possibly a female variant, and there was a female variant. At one point, 
Susan Storm was Kang. Shocker. And it was fantastic. It was a great read. But uh, I'm all down for this. I'd like to see them get back to a a, a Caucasian um, a Caucasian king. I, I just like to see it go that direction. I'm not against anybody, any races or anything. Um, I would prefer to have a Caucasian Reed Richards. The only guy that I think, and I would love to see if he could pull it off, and I know he could pull it off, is Idris. Idris would probably have to, you know, I mean, turn back the clock. Turn back the clock maybe 10 or 15 years, and I think he would he would play an immaculate Reed Richards. It's it's just something I dream about. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. Planet of the Apes, a great read. I'm enjoying this. This is uh, not the old school Planet of the Apes. This is all about the ALZ, ALZ 112 and 113 virus that was introduced to create uh, a cure for Alzheimer's disease. It's looped into something totally different. The simian flu, mankind is blaming the apes for this. You have uh, groups, Exertus Very, that is out to kill all, all apes. They, they have to blame somebody, so they're going to blame the apes. Pretty much it happened when we had COVID-19 COVID that came out. They were looking for somebody to blame. Who knows? Anyway, um, it is a story about this pug. Pug that is a gorilla known as the smartest gorilla. Uh, he's in the circus, the smartest gorilla in the world. And they come after Pug. They're going to kill him. Well, Pug kills them. It's amazing. Uh, Pug picks up weapons and starts wailing away. I wanted to share this. This was a buy. I don't know who the artist is. Really don't know what it's about, but I thought this is the uh, the Joker, the man that stopped laughing. This is a variant cover, and I love the, ch the, the child artwork on it. Reminds me of something I would have drawn as a kid, and maybe yesterday. <laughs> anyway, we're going to bring this video to an end, to a close. These videos are made for you. The very few that I love, uh, we want more subscribers. Slap the ass on that like button, subscribe, all that good stuff. It helps the algorithm, algorithm helps get this, get, get the word of the OG out to other people. And I'm slowly loosening up my grasp on OG Comics Review. Um, still can't respond. We are working on that. I can like your comments, and that is a plus. Anyway, visit your local comic shop. Dig into those long boxes. Share with the OG what you find. We are out.